Hey guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. As you guys can probably tell from everything I have out right now and of course by the title of this video, it is time for me to change the oil on my 2019 Toyota Tacoma TRD Off-Road. Now, I do my own oil changes every 5,000 miles at home. My truck here is about to hit 40,000 miles, which means I've done quite a few of these oil changes at home. And throughout a lot of trial and error, I believe I have found the easiest, most mess free way to change your oil on a third generation Toyota Tacoma and I want to share it with you guys in this video. Let me back up for a moment. If you guys have watched my older oil change videos, you can see that the only specialized tool I used to use was an oil filter wrench, and that was it. That is the bare minimum you need in terms of extra tools to do an oil change on the third gen Tacoma. But hopefully from today's video, you'll understand why after having done this myself every few months that I have expanded my tool set and I can't go back to just using this single oil filter wrench. So for my last oil change, I tried out this kit from Motivix Tools. This basically includes a better oil filter wrench, drain tool, and funnel. Using these tools, I went through fewer pairs of gloves. I didn't use as many shop towels. I didn't have oil running down me, which was the big positive there. And overall, it was just a much better and more pleasant experience. I will not go back to using the bare minimum tools that I mentioned earlier. I like that oil no longer drips down my arm when I do this. While these Motivix tools will really help reduce our mess, I am also today trying out these Grime Boss wipes today because we are dealing with oil. Now you can pick these up at Home Depot. They're just like heavy duty wipes for applications like this and I'm really interested in them because they're skin safe and I have super, super sensitive skin. So hopefully my Grime Boss wipes will help clean up messes much better than my shop towels do. And of course, you're going to need your oil now. My Tacoma takes about six to 6.2 quarts of oil and I like to use Haviland Proteus Lifelong. It is a full synthetic oil. I use the oil weight 0W20 and I've used this for pretty much a whole year now in this truck and on my Land Cruiser and I've been super, super happy with it. And of course, you guys, don't forget your oil filter. I use an OEM one that I'll have linked in the description and your drain pan and gloves. Okay, so now let me show you guys the easiest and most mess-free way I have found out to change the oil on a third generation Tacoma. Okay, so step one is we're going to drain our oil, so I'm gloving up for this. We'll also obviously need the drain pan and a 14 millimeter socket. The drain plug is located here. Luckily, my TRD skid plate has a nice cutout for it. It is torqued to 30 foot pounds, so if you need, you can also use a breaker bar. Now that my oil is pretty much done draining, I'm going to use some of my heavy duty Grime Boss wipes to basically wipe down my skid plate because I know there is oil dripping all over it. So I think these did a pretty good job, definitely better than my shop towels because they actually absorb the oil when I'm wiping it off the skid plate rather than like spreading it around. And I know this is random, but they actually smell really good. Not this one because it has oil and dirt and stuff all over it. Now I'm putting my drain plug back in and you want to torque this to 30 foot pounds. So the next thing we're gonna do is basically replace the oil filter. So that's why I took off my little access panel on my TRD skid. This is really where the Motivix tools are gonna come in handy because this can be so, so messy without them. But before we use the tools, I'm gonna have to remove this metal cover and I just have my breaker bar with an extension. Okay, so this is that metal piece. Now we're going to use our Motivix drain tool. So I'm gonna take this drain tool and basically we're gonna twist the bottom portion all the way to the left. 
And I'll show you guys how this thing actually attaches to the oil filter housing once I have it in. But what we're gonna do is push it up against it, twist this bottom piece right, and that'll allow us to basically drain the oil filter. And then obviously you're gonna wanna put the other end of the hose in your drain pan. So what you're gonna wanna do is basically just first twist this tool in. I know it's kinda hard to see, but the tool is now bolted on. Now kind of like how I showed you before the tool was actually screwed onto the oil filter housing, I'm going to twist that lower piece and this will fully drain as you can kind of start to see the oil the rest of the oil from the oil filter housing and check it out there is no oil on my hand now what you're supposed to do if you don't have this tool is that Toyota provides this like small plastic piece inside the new oil filter kit and you're supposed to press that up and that's going to release the rest of the oil that is just so messy this is just a much much cleaner and easier way to do it Now the next step is to remove the oil filter and the oil filter housing. So to do that, we're gonna need our oil filter wrench. Again, I am using this one from Motivix Tools and you might be wondering, what's the difference between this one and any other generic oil filter wrench? Well, first of all, this Motivix ones has a notchless design. So I found it to fit so, so much better than this one, which I had used for a while. This one's made of CNC aluminum and it's made in the USA, which I really like. This one is okay. I think I just got it off of Amazon somewhere. So I have no idea where it's made, but it doesn't fit as well as this one from Motivix Tools. And there is our old oil filter. There's some residue oil here and you can see it's kind of dripping. So I'm gonna dump the rest of this into my drain pan. So this is that plastic piece I was talking about that gets your hands really, really messy. These are the new O-rings we're gonna use. So I'm going to lightly oil them before we actually put them on. And this is the new filter. So now let's install our new oil filter. And then this metal cover back on. to our last step which is pretty much just adding our new fresh oil and again I am using Haviland Pro DS full synthetic 0W20 for this Tacoma and to make my life easier I'm going to be using the Motivix tool funnel. As you can probably see the great thing about this funnel is it literally screws in so there's no chance of it like moving around. You don't have to worry about using one hand to hold it. You can use two hands to pour your oil, which is nice. One thing nice about this smart change box that Haviland comes in is that you get a glug free pour, which allows you to really, really control how much oil you want to pour in. All right, so I'm all done now, and that's basically my easy and as mess-free as possible way of changing the oil on my Toyota Tacoma. 
Since you've made it this far into the video, hopefully that means you liked it or at least thought it was useful. Again, those Motivix tools are so, so helpful. I will never do an oil change on my Tacoma without them. And I was also very, very impressed with the Grime Boss wipe, so I'm definitely going to be including that every time I do an oil change. If you guys have any tips or things you do to make your life easier when you change the oil on your Tacoma, definitely leave a comment down below. I always love to learn and I always want my videos to be helpful to other people. But anyways, thank you again so, so much for watching. If you want to connect more with me, you can follow me on my Instagram. It is at Chloe Kuo Taco. I post more in real time on there. Otherwise, thanks again for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.